Kevin Goldafoy. We're visiting with Brian Cherry, and you might recognize him from the Dukes of Hazard. He played Coy Duke, and it's good to have you here. Well, thanks for inviting me down here. I'm, I live about eight, ten miles down the road, so it was quite simple for me to come down and visit and just, you know. <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about your activities with uh, the Dukes. Dukes of Hazard. That's a long time ago, wasn't it? Yeah. It's actually, I think we just had our thirty-something year reunion. Has it been I, that long? Yes, sir. It's been it's been quite a while. I've, I've stayed pretty busy since then, but um, you know, I was uh, actually cast um, out of Atlanta, Georgia, my hometown, Atlanta, and um, came out to audition and never went home. You know, for well, several months later, because Warner Brothers Warner Brothers cast me as a Coy Duke, cousin Coy, and. Uh, you know, it went, uh, just, I just stayed. It came out with a pair of blue jeans and t-shirt, and a pair of undies, and, and, and I had to, my mom had to send me more stuff from Georgia because uh, yeah, I was out of clothes, you know. And so two-day audition lasted uh, about a month and until they finally found the chemistry they're looking for, they say, you know. Sure. They, they came up with Christopher Meir, and he co-starred with me. And uh, so uh, my screen test was is, is funny because I go to the set in Valencia, California, and, and and I'm like driving up, and I see this beautiful woman. I'm like, God, this old dirt road. We were talking about that, and uh, and uh, Valencia, and uh, it's, it's where they did all the stunt work, a lot of the jumps and stuff. And and I'm going, that girl looks so familiar. And it didn't hit me until I they gave me the scene. You're doing a scene with that girl. I went, God, who is she? It was Daisy Duke. <laughs> like, really? It was like, you know, the show's only on every Friday night before Dallas, whatever. And, and that's how I, you know, because I, I, you know, originally it was Bo and Luke the uh, I was up for it as a pilot, TV pilot, and I missed the audition. So they ended up casting uh, John Snyder and Tom Wopat. And then they left. They, they were suing Warner Brothers for merchandising, and uh, which was crazy. You don't sue Warner Brothers. Well, well they tried. But um, anyway, they, uh, I'm glad they did because they recast the two leads, and that's when they went back to Atlanta, Georgia, and, and uh, actually asked for me. Is that Byron crazy guy still here? And, <laughs> anyway, so... You've been on the road, and I know that you've taken out the General Lee. Yes, sir. Tell yeah. us about that. Yeah, I actually um, have, have. I bought one for my mom during the production of Dukes of Hazard, and then she used to drive it around. So cute, you know, 70 something years old driving in the 69 <laughs> Dodge Charger around Atlanta, Georgia. And, and uh, I finally came home, and all the tires were flat, and I'm like, Mom, what did you do? And she. You know, she talked like this. Well, Byron, I'm just, you know, it's very southern. <laughs> and uh, we lived in the heart of Atlanta, Georgia. So so I ended up, a friend of mine offered me $800 for it and because uh, it had flat tires, and he talked me out of it, a friend from high school. And he said, here's 800 bucks. Yeah, I'll take that car. You know? And, you know, it now if I, well, it, it was worth a lot more. <laughs> it's worth a lot more. <laughs> I would and, uh, say so. But, since it, but I had one, I, I had to have one in Ventura, so... A friend of mine offered it to me, and I got a pretty good deal on it. Had every cast member, including including myself, on the trunk lid, and I probably had over a hundred. Uh, everybody but Elvis Presley's uh, autograph on my car, but I I ended up selling that. Used it a lot locally um, for benefits, cancer benefits, just all kind of things for children children's uh, hospitals and stuff. You know, I did just show up and hand out pictures and stuff, you know, and sign them for the kids and stuff. You know, and I I love doing stuff like that, and and. Uh, but I did sell it, and now my wife's like, you know, can we get another one? <laughs> I'm like, and you've been on the road with the car too. Yeah, it was funny. Uh, I've done that um, several times, but I really when I, another reason I sold it because pretty much anywhere I go, I was like in Nova Scotia, Canada, wherever that was, um, and somebody had a generally some kid had just built one, 20 miles from where I was at the, sh the show, and I'm like, so anywhere I go. Uh, Anywhere in the country, I'm telling within 100 miles, somebody has a car. So I'll put it on Facebook. I'll be in Orlando, Florida, you know, da, da, da. Who has a car? I'll get five calls. I got one. I got one, you know. And I'll pay them for their gas, give them T-shirts and hats and stuff from the show. And, and they're so happy with that, you know. So beyond the Dukes of Hazard, what else have you been involved with? Um, a lot of, you know, I'm out a lot doing these fundraiser things, you know, all over the country. And just did a movie with Danny Glover called The Lighthouse. It'll be out in 2015. No dates yet. It's still in post-production. They have a couple of issues. But I, I co-starred with him. I played, a, um, I played a sheriff in this one. Sheriff Grady. And um, good little part. And I had some great scenes with Danny Glover. And Kurt Angle was in it too, The Wrestler. So. Oh, really? Yeah. And, um, you know, it's kind of a sci-fi crazy drama 
comedy. <laughs> it's hard to explain what it really, but it, it'll be entertaining for sure. We filmed in in uh, Orlando, Florida, in in a swamp, Camp Mac, oh my. fishing, uh, full of gators and moccasins. But for that, but <laughs> but, but anyway, it's Coy Duke, Coy Duke and you know it's great to have a website out there. You know, people, you know, fans will ask me questions, and I actually I I answer them. You know, as best as I can. Well, cool. <laughs> Well, Byron, it's good to have you with us. Well, yeah, well, thanks. Yeah, right, yes. Byron Cherry, and I'm Bill DeFoy. We thanks look. for joining us. Yeehaw. <laughs> Someday the mountain might get up, but the law never will.